Hey guys, um, I've actually already filmed this intro and then my camera went dead and then I realized the microphone wasn't plugged in. So yeah, here I go again. All right, guys, I am going to film my very first workout video on this channel. Now this is gonna be a very low impact workout. Um, for those who don't know, I am pregnant. I'm nearing the end of my first trimester and I have been put on a sort of bed rest um, because I got really sick during this first trimester and was not able to work out, wasn't able to eat hardly. I lost 10 pounds, um, but I'm so happy to be pregnant and the baby's healthy. Um, and today was such a gloomy day, I decided today is the day I'm gonna film the fitness video that I had been meaning to do for you guys for months um, before I found out I was pregnant and as soon as I was gearing up for it I found out I was pregnant by the fact that I was sick and I had no energy um, anymore in the gym so what you see now is a body that has not been able to be physically um, and athletically active for about oh dear almost two months, which is a lot, it's a lot, it's a long time not to be able to be athletic. Um, you lose a lot of muscle and I have lost a lot of muscle, but that's okay. This is perfect for starting out. If you are someone who, I need to squat so I can get in this frame. There we go. If you are someone who is wanting to get active again, spring and summer is coming, this would be the perfect video just to get you up and get you moving. I want to preface, um, I want to preface this video by saying I am not a fitness professional, not anymore. I used to be in my younger years when I was like 22. Woo, I'm out of breath. This pregnancy shortness of breath thing is real. Um, but I haven't been relicensed in years, so I'm not an active personal trainer anymore. I just kind of work out and do what I like to do and, you know, just do it for me. So, um, the workouts we're going to, we're going to do today are really easy. Um, the full workout is going to be three sets of all of these workouts. Okay. So. I'm only going to do one set for this video, but if you're wanting the full workout, you want to do three sets of all of the exercises. So you just rewind the tape if you don't remember them, and then do them again. Um, what else? I'm going to do this video as a voiceover because I know I'm going to be out of breath. I know I am like cardiovascularly out of shape right now. Um, so I'll do it as a voiceover and have the names of the exercises. Some of the names I've made up, I just kind of call them what they look like. Um, some of the exercises, I'm just kind of winging it, okay? So I hope you guys enjoy this video and I hope it's interesting and informative. And so you can work out with me and baby Hagen. I've had a small snack, like a half of a banana. So I was feeling a little peckish. Um, and so hopefully that will give me the energy that I need. Sorry it's so dark in here because the sun is not out. It's been raining all day. Um, I'll open up some more blinds and hopefully get some more light going. All right, so we're gonna jump right into this video. Like I said, it's gonna be a voiceover. And Oh, have I showed you guys the bump? I've lost weight, so it's smaller. Um, so, this is me. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see this very well on the camera. But yeah, that's Baby Hagen in here. Um, I'll be 11 weeks on Sunday. And then um, officially in my second trimester at 13 weeks. So praise God, we're, we're almost there. All right, so I'm gonna get started. I'm gonna jump right into this video. And like I said, if you want the full workout, you're gonna do three sets of all of these workouts. 
and it should be pretty simple something you can do at home and you can just kind of kickstart your fitness routine right now it's going to be super easy do not worry if you're out of breath because you know get, getting active again and starting to get active the biggest thing that's out of shape is your heart so you breathe harder um, you may sweat more it may seem very exhausting but that's okay because your heart's a muscle and it has to get in shape too and this is this is just the perfect way to get up and get moving and get your spring started on a, a good beat um, if you are a person who suffers with anxiety insomnia um, just any type of stress or lack of energy starting to work out is going to change your life um, just promise me you know, I'm not promise me just believe me be consistent with it and you will see a huge change okay so let's start the workout with preggers me and I hope you guys like it and let me know if you want me to make more of these videos and uh, we'll go from there so let's get started All right guys, so we're gonna go ahead and start with some stretching. Just your basic toe touch here. Rolling up with your back, touching the ceiling, and then back to the toes. And then we're gonna roll up with our back again. All right, go ahead and open your legs for a cross overhead. I don't even know what I call that just now. <laughs> It's like a crossover head stretch. Like I said, I'm making these names up as I go, ladies, because I do not remember them. Um, but then reach my head to the ceiling again and touch the floor. Keep your knees soft when you're doing this, ladies. Never lock your knees because you can faint. Um, then we're going to touch our toes going from side to side. And this is just to really loosen up our lower back. I've been having some extremely... Um, painful lower back issues um, just because of pregnancy um, so right here we're just going to stretch our torso just going from the left to the right and don't you don't have to do this part ladies this is me just trying to loosen up my lower back it was feeling really stiff and really tight and just painful so I just started <laughs> I just started wiggling so yeah yeah just to help me kind of get ready. So, heel extension to scissor toe touch. So we're just gonna stretch out our calves and do them going from the left to the right. And then we're gonna touch our toes. We're gonna get, keep soft knees, so straighten our legs, but keep soft knees, and then touch our toes. Um, and this is gonna help stretch our hamstrings and our calves at the same time. So that's what I'm doing. Um, remember ladies, just take your time as you're doing all of this. This right here is we're doing a one minute warm up. It's really important um, before we start working out and putting a lot of um, kind of pressure on our muscles that we warm them up. So our muscles are like a rubber band. So if you put a rubber band in a freezer um, and you take it out and pull it, it would snap. Um, our muscles are kind of the same, so it's important that we just warm up and get our, more, our muscles nice and warm before we start putting some, some pressure on them. Ah, my boobie's home from school. She's kind of like, what are you doing, Mom? Why are you hopping around in the middle of the living room? And so she's like asking permission, can she like eat in the kitchen while I film? and you know what I'm like of course like what am I gonna do I'm your mom life life goes on doesn't matter if I'm filming or not all right so I'm just looking at my watch and waiting for this minute to be over come on minute <gasps> all right Finally, I'm gonna touch my toes again. Like I said, my back's been pretty stiff. So now I'm gonna stretch my quadriceps. 
going back into a hill stretch again. Again, ladies, just wanting to keep these muscles nice and warm before I put any pressure on them. All right, so this is what I call a knee up side to side. So this is a way of working my lower abs, working my quadriceps, my calves, my shoulders, um, and my traps, believe it or not. Now, this seems like a very basic workout, but it actually does get your heart going. I can't remember how many times I did this. I think I did 15 and side to side was one. I believe that's what I did. All right, 20 step back squats. So you do just as you see me doing, you get into the squatting position, then step back, and it's almost like a lunge position, and then you use your arms, you swing your arms, so as to help with your balance as well, and your momentum. So we're going to do 20 of those, and side to side is one, so I would go side to side, and then that would be one, then side to side, that would be two. And I decided to do five more because it wasn't, it didn't burn quite enough. So I was like, ah, I can get five more out of that. So that instead of 20, it'd be 25. All right, 15 elbow knee extensions. This kind of looks like Saturday Night Live, like staying, night, staying alive, that dance that John Travolta does a little bit. All right, so we're just gonna bring our knee up towards our elbow. This is also going to work our abs, our calves. <laughs> That's me telling you it's working the abs. Um, our hamstrings, our shoulder, and our tricep, believe it or not. And I'm going to do 15 on each side. Take a nice breath. <laughs> See, John Travolta. <laughs> I crack myself up. And again, 15 on this left side. Now ladies, some of these movements may feel a little awkward. Just do your best. The biggest thing is to watch your form so that you don't hurt yourself. Um, but if any time you feel winded, in this video take a break so 25 donkey kicks for each leg all right so on my hands and knees I just extend my leg kicking it right up in the air this is gonna work my hamstrings my glutes um, and it really does work your glutes it kind of isolates your glute muscles so I'm gonna do 25 on each leg I'm just kind of squatting down, stretching my back out again. At this point, I'm really feeling it. Um, my back was really bothering me this day and I was just kind of pushing through. All right, on the left leg. This is a great way to tone up your hiney, ladies. Um, because your hiney is an isolated muscle on its own, when you isolate that muscle and do workouts that target just that muscle group, it starts to perk up. So, you know, and if you want your muscle to get bigger and bigger, then you would add weights to that. And there are other ways to do that. So I'm taking a quick little break here, getting some water. And I'm gonna use this chair for balance. And I'm going to do 20 extended leg curls for each leg. So I'm just gonna stretch my leg out. I'm trying to get my balance so I can make sure I'm, I'm having the right form. And I literally am just gonna curl and kick my leg out. And this is gonna work my quadriceps, my hamstring, and my glutes, believe it or not. Now this seems like a, a fairly simple movement 
But because you have to hold your body stiff, almost as if your body is a machine, it actually gets the job done, believe it or not. Just take your time and do these movements. Most importantly, ladies, listen to your bodies. If you have to take a break at any time, just stop, take a break, pause the the video, and come back to it. All right. So, that was 25. Taking a break. And again. really breathing through that make sure you keep breathing ladies that really got me so this is probably my least favorite is the push-ups at the end I do the female version of the push-ups keep your back kind of straight you want to make sure your hiney is not really poking out that it's kind of like a table and straight up and down I'm gonna do 10 press ups and again I'm stretching my lower back out again this also helps me to breathe and just kind of relax here I am breathing the whole time and I'm gonna do some final stretching I'm stretching out my triceps right here this is kind of a cool down stretch so grabbing my elbows and pulling going from side to side with my shoulders hey guys that is the workout um, like I said, if you're wanting the full workout, what does that mean? There's a thing that my camera's telling me it's getting too hot. If you want the full workout, you want to do three sets. That means repeating the entire workout, except for the warm-up part. You don't have to do that again. Or the stretching part. But um, doing that entire workout three times to get the full workout. It should take you about 30 minutes. I'm out of breath because it is a workout. I pretty much did it nonstop except for one break I took to have some water. Whew. I hope you ladies like this video. The most important thing, please listen to your bodies. Take breaks where you need to. Pause the video, you know, drink some water, stretch, listen to your body. If you feel overheated or like you're running out of breath, slow down okay baby steps and you and I will both get our fitness back or get to the place we want to be so thank you guys for watching this video give it a thumbs up make sure to share this video and turn on your notifications for my channel so you'll know each time I upload something and like I said I hope you guys really like this and you can watch me grow and get huge <laughs> Um, and see how I continue to work out through that whole time. So I hope you're having a blessed day and let's do this again sometime. Let me know what you guys think. Bye.